chipped, fried, sautéed, boiled, baked or mashed. The potato is one vegetable that we simply couldn't be without. It's also very easy to grow. But what type and variety of potato should you be growing? In this video, we'll offer you a few pointers to choosing the potato that's right for you. The first thing to think about is how you want to use your potatoes. Different varieties have different amounts of starch, making the flesh of some break down into a fluffy texture, while others retain a firmer, waxy texture. Potatoes that are high in starch absorb more liquids, causing the potato to break apart during cooking. These types are great for baking, mashing or cutting into wedges. They also make the ideal companion to roast meats. Waxy potatoes contain less starch and hold together during cooking. This makes them ideal for cooking in soups and stews, where you want the potatoes to retain their shape. They are also the ones to use in salads. Look closely at the descriptions for different varieties and make sure you pick one that's suitable for how you want to cook it. Potatoes are also categorised according to how long it takes the plants to reach harvest time. Early varieties are, well, the earliest to crop, and are subdivided into first earlies that are ready as soon as the start of summer, and second earlies that follow on a couple of weeks later. Main crop potatoes are next, and are ready to dig up and enjoy any time from mid to late summer onwards. Early potatoes will naturally be smaller at harvest than main crop types. Our garden planner is a useful tool for choosing varieties suitable for your location and working out how many plants you can fit into the space you have for optimal harvest. Head up to the selection bar and double click on potatoes. This brings up the varieties box. Click on the plus button to scroll through the drop down list. You can browse varieties by hovering over the information button for catalogue descriptions Alternatively, add your own variety by clicking the New Variety button, type in the name of the variety, and adjust spacing and planting dates accordingly. Then you can drag out a row or block and see how many plants will fit in the space you have. Any potato will grow in ground that is moist, fertile and well-drained, however some potatoes need more room than others to grow. Early potatoes can be planted in rows just one foot or 30 centimetres apart, while main crop potatoes need at least one and a half feet or 45 centimetres between rows. Many gardeners also like to grow potatoes in containers or special potato sacks, which are perfect on patios or where space is at a premium, as long as the roots can remain relatively cool during the summer. If you want to grow your potatoes like this, pick a salad or early variety of potato. These types tend to grow less foliage, suiting this compact growing environment. Potatoes are pretty resilient plants, but like any crop they're vulnerable to a few diseases. Chief among these is blight, a fungus that can cause the foliage to collapse and the tubers to rot, closely followed by scurf or scab. The solution to these woes lies in choosing varieties described as displaying resistance or tolerance to these and other common diseases. Blight can also be avoided by growing early varieties that are normally harvested before summer weather conditions increase the risk of an attack. New varieties with improved disease resistance are constantly being developed, so it's worth checking anew every growing season to see what's available. With literally hundreds of varieties to choose from, there's certainly something for everyone. Tell us what your favourite variety is and why by dropping us a comment below. And if you like the idea of lots more practical gardening advice heading your way, then now's the time to subscribe. I look forward to catching up with you next time.